wow, this is finally happening. You found Life with Brock. And if you like the content, you can help me by doing all the things that you're seeing on the screen. Let's go. Well, after all, we are going to have a show. It is late, but better late than never, right, folks? This is This Week in Customs. I'm your host, Brock. It's where I go to the world of Instagram and take a look at awesome-looking work from customizers all over the world. And we do have a fan vote, and a congratulations goes out to Symbiote Seeker, who won last week's fan vote with his absolute carnage, amazing, top-notch level work. His work keeps on improving every single time he puts a product out. And yes, I do get hyped up on some of these customs, like this one right here from Mexico, 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 Draw Customs with this, is it Geralt or Gerald? I never played the games. The Witcher, it is coming to Netflix, and this thing is awesome. I wish it would have used that Superman head. Where is it, bro? Come on. But that armor is top, top notch. Look at all the detail that he was able to use on that uh, or put into that Procreate. All the leather work, uh, the sword. Everything looks great about this figure. And I think the Witcher fans are going to be happy. Nicely done. Oh my gosh. No way. Did Ace Outlaw Customs, the man with a thousand customs started, never finished. He's finally put one out. Holy goodness. It is an Aquaman. And I do like what he has here. He's used that Thor upper... Uh, Thor. Come on. Hercules. I know the character. Hercules upper body. And yeah, it looks really good. It's a nice looking Aquaman. There's a storyline where he lost his hand. Now he's using a hook. Captain Hook style. All right. Bargain Bin Customs with a... Wow. Red Hood, I love Red Hood. He's one of my favorite characters, especially in DC. He's one of my, definitely one of the top characters in DC. He's got a cool looking Red Hood here, Mesco style. It's gonna appeal to those Mesco collectors out there. They haven't put out a Red Hood, which is a shame, but that is a great looking figure. All right, M. Jorgensen here has reworked the Sentinel to look like the classic style, and I think he's nailed the look looks really good and with all the sculpting work that he did he did not lose the electronics which he's going to show us here yeah nice man very cool good work on that sentinel that's a big piece and it is an expensive piece you had the guts to crack it open man not many people would all right captain snick this is a very cool looking piece this is a venomized hulk We've seen other Venomized Hulk from the likes of Mark Eye Lab uh, creation, and this is a good looking, look at that head, man. Just a really nice, nice job of sculpting right there. Really well done with the symbiote stuff. I'm wondering, are, I, I bet you he's using green stuff. You've heard me talk about it recently. It actually looks like green stuff to me. And those of you that are doing symbiote customs, I highly recommend that after working with it, and I don't have that much experience, but you can see the texture of that is quite different from Milliput and Ave's Epoxy, uh, where those are more cementy looking. He, this makes it look more rubbery and it does capture the symbiote uh, look well. That's a cool looking piece. Uh, I'm gonna be saying that a lot because I'm actually picking customs that I'm enjoying. Oh my gosh, ah, ah, copyright strike, come on. All right, new future customs with a cyber nice body for him he's big he's beastly and very clean blues right there it looks like you if you did that by hand man that's pretty impressive i think you probably did that with an airbrush it looks like it's airbrushed and it's a good look for him cool character I need to make one all right double flip customs outstanding paint job as always and it looks like man you did that glow effect really nice see how you just did kind of like a uh, like a halo around the arc uh, reactor there that it's just you know a, you have to have really good control of the airbrush to get that out and he's got some white and blue hue which is how he gets that effect down and well you know the hand that's a different story but the the chest wow man the paint is off the hook good on this figure great work moving on to mesco po police Mescopolis. Oh, Mescopolis. 
like the city. That's Greek, by the way. You're welcome. Brock is teaching you different languages here other than Spanish and English. English is tough for me sometimes. All right, really cool looking Captain Punisher right here. I didn't even know that this character existed, but man, it's Mesco style. I definitely dig, I, 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 I think I prefer the Mesco customs to actually Mesco products. Don't tell them that, that they want it. They're never gonna sponsor me, but man, take a look at this figure. That is a good look. I love Captain America. I love the Punisher. I know they're kind of diametrically opposed if you've read the comics, but hey, man. All right, here's another one. And by the way, maybe I think he what he's doing, he's showing off other customizers' work. So I have to go back here. Who was this by? I don't know how to pronounce that, but mes Mesco, I already pronounced. Where's the force of pronunciation? You guys help me out. Mes Mescoopolis? Mescopolis. Mescopolis. All right. There's the LZCXCZL. I don't know how to, I'm sure there's a way to say that. But what he's doing, he's showing off customizers from China. Check this out. This is a transformer. And I absolutely love this gorilla head. I wonder, is that from Mesco? Is that a from one of the Mesco releases? But if you're not familiar with uh, uh, Optimus Primal, those of you that are Transformer uh, fans will recognize that he's furried this guy up. All right. Wow. Wow. Wee wees. <laughs> really cool, man. I think I've seen this custom DWRX Dave. Uh, he's a guy that I've followed for a long time, and now he's posting on Instagram. Maybe I've missed some of his customs reason, but I th feel like I've seen this Tribunal before, and love it. Look at the effect, the way he's gotten that. Obviously, he's got bright white. He probably started with that blue, that dark blue, went to lighter blue, and then ultimately finished with the white, and that's how he was able to get that effect. Or did he go the other way? I don't know, but man, love it. This is probably gonna be a huge figure I'm trying to think of which 12 inch or maybe a 14 inch figure he may have used for that. If I can see the feet, I can't tell if it's Hasbro, if it's a Toy Biz one. Oh, but it could be Toy Biz with, I don't know, it could be both. Older Hasbro's use those ball jointed hips. But man, really cool living tribunal. That's one that you don't see very often because it's hard to pull off working in, in larger scale like that. All right, custom Kavanaugh with this Harley. Uh, what did he do? Did he repaint this? I, I think he may have repainted the figure. It looks like he's done some sculpting on the belt there. And I know he did that mallet because I don't recognize that mallet from any Harley figure that's been released. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he says he scratch built that mallet and it came out awesome. Looking really, really nice. I know that Harley Quinn head is from a figure. I don't own it. Uh, but if you're interested in, in seeing all the part, oh, that's cool. I like the accessories that you've used. Man, that looks good, man. If you guys are interested, go to these customizers and ask them about the parts. Read their stuff first and see if you can find it before you DM them. Don't inundate them with that, um, please, because then I'll get blamed for it. <laughs> I hate getting inundated with questions I answer in my own stuff. So right there you saw that Charles Chop Shop repainted this figure. This was the original figure. And I think what he has, again, looks a thousand times better than the original paint, which is really, uh, man. So this was the SH Figure Arts. Uh, you guys know Akuma. Uh, I'm, I'm older school than that. Street Fighter 2 rules, please. You know, that's where I'm at. But those of you that played the later Street Fighters will appreciate this character. It's a cool looking character. I just don't know much about him. Never played it. Kit Bash Customs. Oh, man, I need to get that three pack. Where is it at? I think I just got notified by Dorkside Toys as I said that because I did order my three pack from there. He's gotten it and he's changed this up. And I definitely dig this look better than the original release. Obviously, he's the, the upper is correct. It looks like he's added some wrist guards from that. Um, I don't know, maybe from Wolverine because that figure didn't come with those wrist guards. And then he definitely has a lower body. Uh, Kit Bash Customs does a lot of Kip, like what his name he's always changing up the original figure which is a i, th I think it's a good way to go uh, especially if, if you're a new customizer that's the first thing you want to do start messing around with you know adding different paints to it and changing parts out on figures and i think these pants look so much better whose pants are these 
I must know because I think I want to do the same thing when I get my figure. All right, Brimstones Ghost Custom right here going with Mesco Style Magneto. And again, I think you do really good work with this cloth. I prefer this look because everything seems to be tighter on these custom Mesco figures than the actual Mesco products. And it looks good, man. Everything about it. The paint is good on, on that cloth. I'd like to see your process. You ever share that with us? <laughs> share the process, player. I want to see what you do. All right. Nico Bascon right here with another Immortal Hulk. Uh, yeah. And check out that face. That comic book, if you guys are reading it, it's very, you know, it's kind of a, like, very creepy looking. Uh, uh, all the artwork is very interesting. And that's just a different head. A lot of uh, customizers are trying this. Uh, Symbiote Seeker, Mark I Lab Creations, Demonic Poo Creations. You saw the head he sent me. And here we have Nico, Nico Bascon, Bascon with his interpretation of one of the many ways that the Hulk has been drawn in that book. So we've gone to from Beast looking to a beauty right here. Christina Conan uh, always killing it with the paint. Look how crispy. Crispy, crispy, that blue. Uh, I wonder what it, what's the paint that she's using. I recently used and, and was impressed with Turbo Dork. I used an emerald um, green looking. I think it was Emerald Nightmare is what they call it. But uh, that metallic paint looks really nice on it. And my favorite part is if you look at the leg, you see all the different orange and yellow and how it smoothly transitions. I love that look. I think that's smooth. She has to have a lot of control with the airbrush when she's doing that. And obviously she's been doing it for a long time. Great work as always. Figure this custom. Wow. I like the spawn. It's gritty. I like when the spawn customs come out and they look like they've been, they've come from hell. And this looks like, you know, uh, the, the reds that you've chosen here definitely gives it that look and it looks like you have weathered that cape up i've seen some spawn customs that the, the the cape itself is super clean and i don't really care for that look that much i prefer this like worn look on the spawn obviously it's a preference thing for my taste and uh, for my taste i think you've nailed the look i think the sculpting of the head if you did that yourself or you got the head cast whoever did that did fantastic work Overall, this is a beautiful Spawn custom, and it's posable. And I think McFarlane only made one figure that was posable. This is a thicker-looking Spawn. Uh, so the base body that he's used is thicker than what I'm normally used to seeing in the Spawn, but accomplished very, very nicely. And I absolutely love this. It's a work in progress. Lou and Aidens is not even finished with this. Can't wait to see this custom finished. I think out of all the ones that he's done, he's done some amazing customs. This is one of my favorite ones. It's definitely at the top uh, of uh, for for at least my taste. From the colors to all the different details he's added to this figure, man, I absolutely love it. Can't wait to see it finished. I would love to see a video. Could you please, por favor, un favorcito, do a little video. I want to see a 360 of that figure. There's so many details in it. All right. Quad Drive Yards right here with a Star Wars character. Uh, the, the head cast is from Outer Rim Traders. They're a group of Star Wars customizers. They do have a store. Go check them out. I mean, super, super accurate to the movies. And this character looks great, man. Good work on that. All right. Another, uh, who's this one from? From Mike Yuan, Mescopolis right here, sharing some other, these are the, he's saying the Chinese. I think they're all Chinese. I'm not sure. But this is a repaint of an Iron Man figure. Obviously, that's an expensive Iron Man figure that they've uh, put paint on. So gutsy move, and I thought it looks good. All right, JK Goods. These skeletons have been making their rounds on YouTube. They can be found uh, at... Um, What's that other place? Lowe's and Home Depot. Home Depot, if you want to buy these skeletons, they're seven inch scale. And what he's done here, he's weathered them up. And you can see the difference. Obviously a tremendous difference. The sculpt is there, but he was able to bring out and make those skeletons look like, you know, 
my true skeletons not super cleaned up nice work and if you guys want to head on over to home depot tell them brock sent you all right the hottest fuzz customs doing the scream character i forget what the character is uh but the movie scream and obviously very accurate looking mask right there that he's done and he did the soft goods and you can see the and this is a pet peeve of mine and which he's achieved very well he actually weathered up the soft goods i personally don't like soft goods that have nothing on it other than the fabric i think this looks more realistic again it's for my preference and it's i, I think he nailed that character all right nick nicole if you're a fan of mythic legions you're gonna be a fan of her work she does a lot of custom with matter of fact I, I haven't think i've seen her do anything other than mythic legions so go check out her page if you're into the mythic legions line really cool look for some reason this made me think of uh he-man and thundercats i don't know why but it did that's the the feeling i got from seeing those shots nice pictures by the way all right jk goods with another one right here he uh used the monster venom and the uh i think that's a select head he said and wait no i'm sorry that 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 is not the monster venom body it's a caliban body matter of fact he says it right there it's the caliban body and he resculpted a select head and he was trying to go for a mcfarland look and would you look at that it's definitely not the i'm going that does not look like the monster venom and there you have it you can see the end result nice logo you achieved the logo really well and i think the mcfarland is uh, i think it's darker i think uh, i think that's what he's done there but man really nice paint job overall on this figure and i like the head that you chose all right so hero and vil customs right here probably he's going hero and villain you know what i'm saying he said his son was playing with his maestro and he cracked it so he was able to i thought this this is the first appearance hulk i think body that he used and he's noticed that he's used critique my custom so he's a newer customizer i think the custom looks good and he's talking about a black wash and yeah you could add um th there's a few things that you can do and next time we have a critique my custom episode i'll make sure to include this and we will talk about what you can do to improve this figure but i mean as far as what you got going on it looks like the character and the only there's some things that are highlighting and like you said washes that you could add to help it uh, bring out and make it look even better than it does so we'll talk about that when we do shoot that episode james roseboro what he's been doing uh, and he does a lot is that he works from the base figure and he adds a wash so this is somebody that you could chat up with go check out his work and he does a lot of washes and I think his figures end up coming out looking pretty good. He does add some paint to the figures as well. And what I like about him is that it comes out more realistic. And again, like I've been saying this whole episode, it's a preference. For my preference, I like my figures to look more realistic. I don't want them to look uh, cartoony. All right. Mogan Customs right here with, uh, uh, looks like Punisher got jacked up here. Looks like he's fought Electra. Uh, the hand uh, possibly took an arrow from Hawkeye. Maybe it was Bullseye as Hawkeye, but I, I like the accessories on the Punisher. Take a look at there's a paint by Citadel that uses blood. It's a little bit darker than that, and I think if you added it to that, it would make it look a little bit more realistic. Unless you're not going for realistic, like I like it. Here we go. Here's another Punisher right here, weathered up. And look at the pants. I like how the pants look. He's going for a Mesco style Punisher, obviously, who's uh, been in battle, bloodied up all over the place. The real Dallas James sharing a Play Arts custom, Play Arts Kai custom, from Danger Manzero. He probably bought it from him, and it's in his collection. Man, if he sculpted all those lines, I can't think. Did they do a Venom? Did Play Arts Kai do a Venom? I don't know 
but I'm just going to take the assumption I don't own this figure. If he did all the sculpting on that himself, man, that is phenomenal looking. Like, super symmetrical, but not... Like, wow, yeah, those lines, man. I love the look of that. Love the, the head sculpts on here, too. Painted extremely well. All right, that is the end of the main show. Let's get to the top five. And here we go, the top five, starting with Draw Customs Geralt right here. And number two is going to be this Venomized Hulk by Captain Snick. Then we have, oh, who is the artist here? That guy right there. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. You you give it a go. And then we have the Living Tribunal by DWRX Dave. And finally, we have this Spawn by Figure This Customs. Thanks so much for hanging out. Sorry I put out the episode late, but hey, Life with Brock was busy. Very busy. The life was busy. But anyways, thanks again for supporting. Please head on over to my community tab and get in on the vote. By the way, I've been thinking about starting a just a, a chat, a live show called Wednesday Night Live with Brock. On Wednesday night, I don't know what time it's going to be, but it's just going to be a hangout session. I'm uh, going to open it up because oftentimes when I have these videos and I do the premieres and etc., I don't really get to interact with the people that have been supporting the channel, and that's what that show is going to be about. It's going to be you interacting with me, me interacting with you. And with that, I'll catch you on the next one. Brock is out. Time.